Hi, I'm Jordan from MIDI and today we're going to be talking all about pole elastics. We're getting into springtime now and uh, you're probably going to be thinking, right, I need to change my elastics. There's uh, three or four different types that you can use, but at MIDI we produce three types. You've got your solid and then a shock core and then a reactor core. I'm just going to talk about the solids at the minute. Uh, they're probably one of the cheapest ways to elasticate your pole really. Brilliant for catching silver fish and smaller fish. Uh, for me, the three to four for skimmers is fantastic. And then the eight to 10, anything for like where we are today, Moncal, Oid, small F1s, even carp would be totally fine. Really, really cost effective as well, which helps. You get six meters in a pack, which will do two long kits, or if you fancy, if you've got the F1 kits, you'll probably get three out of that. So for the price, it's really cost effective. In the hive is range, We've got anything from a 3 to 4 right up to an 18 to 20. So you've got different, seven different sizes which will suit all types of fishing really, obviously from canals and silverfish all the way up through to carp. Now solid elastic is really good for snaggy situations. So if you get to a venue where you face with a lot of big carp and you've got to pull them out of uh, snags because it hasn't got the stretch of hollow, you're in more control. So a 14 to 16 solid it'd be a lot better than, say, a 20 holler for dragging big carp out the edge. The next type of elastic is the shock core elastic. Now, this has been out for years. I, even before I was with MIDI, I was using this as a kid, and it's not changed, and it's probably still one of the best hollers on the market. Today, I've actually used the 40, uh, 10 to 14, which has been perfect for shallow fishing, big eyed, lots of control which really helps uh, again you've got anywhere from a one to five which is the green all the way up to the purple which is an 18 to 20 so again you've got a massive range of elastics to to suit what you're going to be doing uh, i think for f1s and small carp like at monk hall the shallow 10 to 14 maybe the next one up which is the red which is a 14 to 16 it'd be perfect and then obviously if you're fishing down the edge, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd probably stay with the 10 to 14, be perfect. Right, the last one in the MIDI lineup, and it's probably my favourite, is the reactor core elastic. Um, you get five metres in a packet, which will do two long top kits, or if you really want three short shallow kits, which for the value to money is, is pretty good to be honest. Um, today you'd probably get away with the eight to 12, be ideal for small carp, F1s, shallow, even on rivers if you're fishing flat floats and bits and pieces or perch fishing on a canal, be perfect. And then edge fishing, I'd go with the 14 to 18. Now it says 14 to 18, but it's a lot softer than that. Um, it's really nice for just big carp in the edge or small F1s. Probably an all-round summer elastic. It'll do you everything shallow for carp. Now the beauty with the reactor core, it's got uh, a carbon centre like nanoparticles and what that does, it stops the bores squashing together. With some hollow elastics, if you pull them, you'll actually squash the two cores and then you'll get flat spots. Um, with the carbon particles in the elastic you don't actually get that it's a little bit more durable than the standard hollow which is good 
and it actually powers up that little bit more uh, you've got a little bit more control with this type of hollow because they don't flatten it acts like a solid and you've got that little bit more power get the fishing that little bit quicker and again like i said again three shallow kits or two long kits excellent value for money right so once you've picked your favorite elastic and take this for instance we've got the six to ten yellow you've got to think how you're going to connect that to your rig now i'm old school i like a crow's foot but media made it really simple they've actually colour coded all their dacrons and connectors to the elastic so you get the right size for the right elastic so you've got the yellow so we've got the yellow dacron this seems to be the the way that everybody connects the rig now with the the dacron connector obviously you just double loop over the connector pull it tight and it's on for the session but if you like a plastic connector and they've also brought that out too. Again, yellow for the yellow elastic. But the this is more of a hybrid, as in the fact that they've given you the Dacron as well. So if you wanted to try the Dacron, you can simply click that on, and use the Dacron for shallow fishing. Otherwise, if you're just fishing down the edge or standard standard fishing, you can just use the plastic connector. Now to stop your elastic from going back up the pole, you can either have a side puller, and if you, you do use the side puller, they brought out the beads. Again, colour coded, nice and easy, and uh, it just pull your lucky through, tie a knot, pull it back, sits nice and neat inside, and you ain't got no worries that it's going to pull through your top kit. Right, just before we start fishing again, a little tip, great tip for you actually, is getting your solid elastic and actually doubling it up as you can see there's two pieces of elastic there now it was a phase probably five six years ago double elastic was brilliant not only is it really really cheap it actually powers up really nice and uh, for fishing on naturals like canals for perch fishing it, it's fantastic you've got enough softness on the strike but it powers up really well um, so for like shallow fishing a double four is perfect not only is it cheap and affordable it actually makes your top kits really light so obviously some hollers they make your pole a bit droopy these will keep it nice and light and hopefully you'll hit more bites another tip is if you face with some commercials now there's some really really snaggy pegs now if you're brave enough you can actually double up solid in like I don't know twenties I mean I ain't man enough but you can do and it really does put the brakes on them carp trying to get into the snags. So if you're brave enough, you can even double up 20 a lucky. Now we've talked about all the elastics and different types of connectors, let's do some fishing. So we've been catching eyed F1s pretty much one a chuck all day. Now um, I've decided not to actually break off on the top kit today, so I've gone with a slightly heavier elastic than what I would. I've actually gone for the 10 to 14 pink in the shot core, shot core range, which it says 10 to 14, but it's probably an 8 to 10 ish. I've got it set a little bit pinky, not, not too much. I've probably took three or four inches off, but as you can see, it gives me maximum control when catching these eyed, and I haven't actually got a break down the top kit which one speeds me up and makes me a lot more efficient but two you can get them in that a little bit quicker than everyone else now if you was using say a six to ten or eight to ten what people normally use for shallow fishing one you'd probably have to break down and two you just wouldn't get them in quick enough now, the problem with the light elastics as well is you tend to strip a lot out the puller which obviously bottoms out the elastic you end up pulling harder and harder and most of the time you pull out the fish but as you can see the 10 to 14 pink for this soil of fishing is perfect I mean we haven't bumped any really and you can see you're under control straight away but it's light enough that 
you hook a fish and they swim out the peg so you're not really disturbing me much it probably is one of my favourite elastics now if you wanted say a solid equivalent I'd probably say the four to six doubled which is the purple in the hivies that would do pretty much the same job so depending on your budget whether you prefer hollers or solids I mean don't forget the solids are a lot lighter keep your pole nice and stiff but yeah so if you're on a budget the four to six purple if you don't mind fishing with hollers and the 10 to 14 is pretty much bang on for these oid F1s even small carp but uh, definitely oid and F1s it's perfect Let's see if we can catch a couple more Don't forget, every shock core elastic that you buy, you can obviously get the matching Dacrons, the beads, the hybrid, which is the plastic connector and the, the Dacron together. So you've got a full range. Everything's nice and balanced, everything's suited. They're not too big, they're not too small. So yeah, really nice range of elastics and connectors. Obviously, the shock core, you can get one long top kit and possibly two, two short kits in the shock core range. If you went to the reactor core, I'd go for the Circes, I think it's the, the pink colour as well, eight, 8 to 12. And you'll actually get three F1 kits and two long kits out of that. So that would be your equivalent for for this really but uh, it really is a perfect elastic for these fish shallow you know under control all the time they come out the peg you can ship back elastics working beautiful again no need for the stripper lift once in the net modern day commercial fishing you've got to be efficient and smooth and make everything easy as possible I was definitely one in the past for using really light elastics because yeah they bolt out your peg and it looks nice but you end up playing fish three four times as long as the next bloke and when you're after two three hundred pound of fish you need to be really efficient and smooth you don't have to bully the fish but definitely being smooth, I mean I've hooked a slightly better one now just got access to my puller here not putting that much tension on really still don't need to break down a couple of strips of the Alake big F1 terrible bit of netting there we go Tooth pound F1, nice and easy. Well, a beautiful F1 to end the session on. Hope this video has helped you choosing some of the different elastics MIDI do. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe to the MIDI YouTube channel and tight lines. <laughs>